Hi there, my name is Will and I'm a developer advocate at Kestra. Today I'm going to be showing you the new real-time triggers that we've introduced in Kestra 0.17. Kestra already has the concept of triggers, which can listen to an external event to start a workflow when an event happens. Now here's the problem, most of these triggers poll external systems in intervals, such as every second. While this works for most use cases, Business critical applications need milliseconds worth of precision, and that is where the new real-time trigger comes in. An example of this might be when a new message arrives at AWS SQS, which I'm gonna show you a quick demo of now. Jumping into Kestra, I've got this simple flow here that has a trigger set up for real-time trigger with SQS, and when this is triggered, it will then run our log task here, which will print out what message was received. Now let's jump into AWS where we can create an SQS queue, and then we can add it into Kestra. If we head over to Amazon, an SQS, we can click create queue and we can just leave this named as my queue. We can leave all of the settings as standard and we can click create queue at the bottom. Once I've done this, I can copy the URL of my queue and put this back into Kestra. Now that we've got our AWS URL, we can add that to our trigger here. And once we press save, the trigger will be live and listening for messages. This means now we can head over to AWS and start sending messages to our queue. Inside of our queue, if we head over to send and receive messages, we can simply add our message in here, press send, and this will start the execution of our flow, which will simply log our message. So when I press send message here, this will now trigger our flow in Kestra and we can check that out now. And we can see right at the bottom here that our execution was successful. And if I click onto it and press logs, we can see our message as well. That's just one use case of where real-time triggers can be really helpful. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below, or you can join our Slack community where you can chat to us directly there. I'd love to hear what you're getting up to with real-time triggers, so do let us know.